Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes, editor at Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you a video review of the Samsung RV511. There's an old idiom that says that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, which can be a little tricky, especially if you see technology day in and day out like we do here. But that really couldn't be any more true of the RV511, because the more that we played with this seemingly average looking laptop, the more that we found that we liked this system. The RV511 is powered by an Intel Core i3 380M processor running at 2.53 GHz and is supported by 4 GB of DDR3 RAM. The system also sports a 15.6 inch LED backlit HD display with a native resolution of 1366 by 768 that's supported by Intel HD graphics. So while it won't run full HD, you can still enjoy movies and content in 720p comfortably. It also packs a number of additional features, like a 500GB hard drive, 3 second wake up from sleep mode, and SRS premium sound enabled speakers. Rounding out the system are 3 USB 2.0 ports, Windows 7 Home Premium, and a DVD burner for your content. What immediately stood out to us when we got our hands on the laptop were the stylish design choices that Samsung made with the system. The textured silver case of the RV511 is rather understated, but classy. And while it fended off fingerprints and smudges, the ridges also helped us get a grip on the system when we were transporting it from place to place. We also liked the full alphanumeric keyboard, although we were pleasantly impressed by the decision to outline the inverted arrow keys. Since these keys allow users to control both volume and brightness settings when combined with the function key, customizing much of your media experience is easily at your fingertips without searching for these commands. As we dug into more of the system, we found much more to like, such as the large range of wireless options presented by the RV511. The system offers full 802.11 Wi-Fi support, as well as 4G WiMAX for users that are on the go and away from a hotspot. It also packs in wireless display, or Wi-Di, connectivity, which worked great. These connectivity options also matched up well with many of the traditional features that you expect with most laptops, like the three USB ports, VGA and HDMI outputs, multi-card reader, and webcam. Software-wise, we found a number of programs that helped us take advantage of the machine's numerous wireless functions, such as a WiMAX connection utility, manual diagnostics of the system, as well as an event log for the computer. We also discovered tools to help us share content on our machine, or migrate files from other systems. There was even a battery life extender to adjust charge cycles, as well as a speed boot-up utility to improve hard drive performance after successive months of use that could easily slow down a machine. We had no time to fully load down or burden the system with the equivalent of this substantial use, but it's great to see the addition of these items for users. We were also struck by the bright LED backlit screen, which worked very well when we were watching DVDs and streamed footage. There were practically no artifacts or macro blocking that we noticed even during fast action HD footage, which was a pleasant surprise, just as the slightly stronger battery life struck us, which we managed to consistently find ranged around the three and a half hour mark. It never hit the advertised up to five hours that Samsung touted, and it could sometimes be unprecise after a boot up or shortly after waking the system up, but it clearly surpassed standard six cell battery performance. We also liked the large Elan smart pad, which was more accurate and less sensitive to accidental touches than the standard Synaptics trackpad found in many laptops. The pad had solid texture, soft mouse buttons, and seemed to perform multi-touch functions much better than other trackpads, which was a nice bonus. We liked the recovery partition that was included in the system that let us restore the machine to factory defaults. Frequently, these options can take multiple hours and be extremely successful to rescue your system from any significant error that it's suffering from. However, we noticed that the process for the RV511 was very quick and very easy, and it only took about 15 minutes to perform. We did notice a few issues, although they were pretty minimal in comparison to the other positives that we found. For one thing, even though Samsung's website claims that it has amazing HD audio, we found that the RV511's sound was rather lacking, especially when it came to the low range during movies or music. Since the laptop wasn't positioned as a multimedia powerhouse, we didn't expect much, but those issues definitely stood out. We also found that the glossy display was a bit distracting during use, primarily when it came to looking at the screen from different angles. Finally, we were also struck by the bloatware that was included on the system. While we found some of the included software to be useful, lots of others got in the way. We found the Best Buy shopping assistant that constantly popped up at startup to be very annoying. 
Similarly, the Norton Internet Security Notice that constantly wanted to be registered got on our nerves. We also didn't like the fact that the Cyberlink Media Suite refused to play DVDs without being upgraded first. That seems particularly flawed for an entertainment package, especially on a brand new computer. Simply put, the RV511 does its job very well. Its suite of Wi-Fi, WiDi, and WiMAX connectivity options are much stronger than many other laptops on the market, even those with Sandy Bridge processors. If you couple this with fast, easy system recovery, a sharp 15-inch screen, and solid hardware performance all around, you'll find that there's very little not to like with this system. It may not be built on one of the newest or fastest processors, but if you're looking for a dependable system at a very, very affordable price, you really can't go wrong with this laptop. For these reasons, we decided to give the Samsung RV511 a 4.5 out of 5. For more reviews on the latest products, as well as deals and coupons on systems like the RV511, be sure to check out techbargains.com.